Hello, welcome to another class of digital design with Verilog. So, in this class, we will talk about finite state machine. Let us start with the class. Outline of uh, today's class is uh, finite state machines, then we will go with formal definitions, then different state machine type and FSM implementations and we will uh, do with many examples, not one or two, but with many examples, 10 to 11 examples, so that uh, every concept will be clear. So, let me ask you one question in uh, sequential circuit. So, we know in uh, combinational circuits, so formal approach to model the combinational circuit is actually Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra, we can model formally the combinational circuits and particularly circuit minimizations, particularly K-map, masculinity methods, expresso, all use uh, formal approach, Boolean algebra formal approach. The same question can you ask for sequential circuit. Can we model se sequential circuit using some formal approach? And the answer is yes. So, finite state machines. Formally, we can describe or mathematically we can describe. We can say working of all combinational circuits can be modeled using Boolean algebra. Similarly, working of all sequential circuit can be modeled as FSM. Let us look at uh, with this thing. So, we can model the uh, sequential circuit with FSM. So, formally what you can say uh, working of any sequential circuit can be modeled in FSM. So, that I am saying, but uh, uh, we will do with many examples and whenever you are saying sequential circuit, that means the state of any things, it depends upon the history. Okay, so, next state will depend upon not only current state, but on the history also. So, what we earlier also we see, so this next state or output it depend upon the inputs and the history. So, input and the history. So, somehow we need to store the state or history. So, that is a formally we say we need to store history here and the output, the particularly x output is it depend upon current input and the state. Also, to what next state it will go, it will also decided by this to current state and the input. So, the question is can we model all sequential circuits? For combinational circuit, the question is and question for the answer is yes, we can model all combinational circuit using Boolean algebra, that is true. But we have already seen a many sequential circuit, JK flip flop, RS flip flop, T flip flop, D flip flop, RS latch, register, counter, PIPO, memory. But uh, till now whatever earlier classes we did, so we have not used formal approach to design this. We use uh, some kind of ad hoc approach. And today, we are trying to do the same circuits, similar kind of things in formally. So, we need a formal way to design sequential circuits. Combinational circuit design process has two important things. So, a formal way to describe the desired circuit behavior, particularly Boolean algebra or truth table, a well defined process to convert the behavior of the circuit. But we need to design the same thing for the sequential circuits. And the question is can we model all sequential circuit using some model and the answer is yes, we can model all sequential circuit using finite state machines. Okay. So, finite state machines we can use to model all sequential circuits. For some cases it may be difficult, for some cases it may be easy, but uh, it is one way to model. So, there are many other models are also there. So, in the later uh, classes of this courses we will discuss about uh, FSMD and ASM charts. So, that is improved model as compared to the FSM, but uh, FSM can model all sequential circuits. What is finite state model? So, FSM a way to describe desired behavior of sequential circuit. It is similar akin to Boolean equation for combinational behavior or combinational circuit and what it contains list of states and list of transitions among states. 
and set of output behaviors. So, there are two type of FSM. So, mainly uh, in the literature or in the digital design courses or this sequential design part, we use two kind of FSM. One is a Moore FSM by Gordon Moore, the, he designed the thing Moore FSM and output only function of states. So, in Moore FSM output is only function of states and another kind of FSM is Melly FSM. So, Melly FSM is output is function of state and the input. So, output is function of state and the input in Melly FSM. So, uh, initial part we looked at most the Moore FSM and later on we will move towards the both uh, Melly and Moore. But uh, today classes most of the examples we took from Moore FSM. So, let us uh, describe about a set theoretic description of uh, Moore machines. So, in Moore machines, so we can define Moore machine as an order quintuple. So, this is uh, Moore machines S, I, O, delta and lambda. So, if you look at uh, this del, so S is a set of finite sets which is not is equal to phi, not empty set, I is finite set of input, O is finite set of output and this is a uh, del is next state functions, lambda is output functions and if you look at this is a, uh, if you look at output is function of states, S goes to output, output depend upon which state you are. So, in particularly Moore FSM, output depend on which state you are and this is set of transitions, S cross I, this delta S cross I goes to S. So, you are in which state and based on what input, what state you will transit. So, this is the set of transitions, this is a set of output, this is set of inputs and these are the set of states for the FSM, this is state of set of states for the FSM. This is the set theoretic definition of Moore machines and clearly you can see Moore machines uh, graphically how we can uh, logically or graphically how we can see this is set of inputs, this is the inputs and as you are using history and you are storing the states in somewhere, so most probably you will use flip flops and it is actually this memory is clocked memory. So, this memory is clocked memory and is clocked as is clocked input and in this case, so if you look at, so next state logic, next state functions, it have actually that means next state is depend upon current state and input. So, next state is, so next state gets stored in this and next state will be is function of a current state and input. So, based on the current state and input, we will transit to next state and output is solely depend upon which state you are. Okay. So, output is depend upon the current state. So, there are two combinational circuit here in the whole Moore FSM implementations. One is uh, next state logic, this is also combinational part, this is combinational part, there are two combinational part, one is next state logic, other is output logic and this part is clocked element sequential part. This is actually some to store states or history or story, so we put some register, okay. So, set up D flip flops, maybe one flip flop, D flip flop or many D flip flops. And this is the standard implementation of uh, Moore FSM. So, from the set theoretic uh, definitions, we are coming back to coming to the this uh, implementation of Moore FSM. So, similarly, we can go for uh, Melly machines. In Melly machines, the only difference is uh, rest of the things are same uh, as the uh, Moore machines, but the only difference is uh, the output, it depend upon not only on states, but also on inputs. So, output functions is different as compared to Moore machines. In Melly machines, output depend upon states and input and logically how we can see, so you will look at output is a function of current state and input. So, in earlier case it was output was function of only current state, but in Melly machines output is depend upon current state and input. 
So, if you look at the output, this guys, this output have input from the external input. Okay, so, what are the input to the FSM? It have current state also input from outside. So, that means output depend upon current state and input. And in this case, output logic may cause glitches because suppose because this element, this is this state register is clocked. In Moore machines, output depend upon only states. That means unless there is a rising edge of clock, means uh, state will not change. But in this case, because it output depend upon input and states, input may change without uh, changing the clock, then that output get reflected in the output. That means whatever your state, it do not care, but output will change if input changes. Okay, because output depend upon current state and input and it is a combinational circuit. This one is combinational circuit. Any changes in input, immediately it will reflect back, reflect at output. That means this causes glitches. Glitches means uh, any changes in input, this side, left hand sides will actually cause output changes. But in sequential circuit, every changes should be recorded. That means, uh, it should go through some historical process, history process, okay, because FSM is designed to do that thing. And sometimes, uh, because of these glitches, many places people do not prefer to use Melly FSM, but uh, Melly FSM and Moore FSM both are equally powerful. Sometimes, uh, Melly gives better uh, uh, what I can say design because uh, it can do uh, with a lesser number of states that I will discuss later in classes, not in this class, maybe in the other classes. That is both FSM are equally good, but uh, many times people prefer more FSM, it is simpler and better way to design. Let us look at uh, what is a uh, clocked synchronous FSM. So, and clock means all storage element employ clock inputs. All storage element are flip flops. Whenever you say flip flops, it is employ some clock. Okay, and it is synchronous. All the flip flops use the same clock synchronous. And FSM, the state machine simply a, another name of sequential circuit. We can see and finite refer to the fact that number of state in the circuit can assume if finite. That is one of the most important thing. The number of state cannot be infinite, but it can be very large. It can be very large, but still it is finite. And clock synchronous circuit can be model like this. So, this is a combinational circuit and this is set of storage, set of flip flops. All employ the same clock. If you look at red lines, all employ the same clocks. And this is the, what you can say this is, it store the state current states and based on the input and the current state, it may change to the next state, it may change to the next state. This next state signals, if we input to the storage element, that means all set of D flip flops, then it may change in the next clock cycle. Transitions, change of states, change of state happens in the every rising edge of clock, in the next clock cycle. Okay. And control, when state can change by controlling storage and clock, this control when can change by controlling storage. So, storage ele elements, particularly the storage element, it store the states. These are flip flops, set up the flip flops. Whenever rising age of clock happens, then it goes to the next states. And what are the standard procedure for designing sequential circuits? So, let us look at the standard procedure for sequential circuit designs and there are clearly there are 8 steps, clearly there are 8 steps. Let us look at steps one by one and explain with many examples. Sequential circuit design process have 8 steps. So, first 4 steps I am showing here. So, first is describe the problem in high level language English like statement. So, high level language in English like statements, this is first. So, describe the problem in very, very high level English like statements. So, then next is 
model the problem using finite state machines. Model the problem using finite state machines and optional steps is uh, you can minimize the FSM so that uh, it requires less number of states. Third step is uh, this is the optional steps. Third step is represent the FSM in tabular form. Then fourth step is derive the number of flip flop requires to implement the FSM because if number of state is 4 then you require 2 flip flop. If number of state is 8 then we require 3 flip flop. If number of state is 5 then you require 3 flip flop. So, number of flip flop require it depend upon number of states. Okay. So, uh, if it means uh, number of uh, flip flop require is uh, it between 2 to the power suppose k and 2 to the power k plus 1 then we require k plus 1 flip flop. And other steps are so step 5 sir state encoding means encode the steps. So, how many states are there and for which state which binary code you are putting that is state encoding this is the state encoding and there are optional things also you can do. So, optimize the state encoding. So, instead of doing some sequential encoding we can go for standard optimized encoding. Then step 6 is a derivation of next state logic and output derivation of next state from the present state and input in tabular form we do this thing. Okay. So, output also from the present state for many machines it need to be including input. This is derivation of next state and output in tabular form. Then step 7 is derivation of combinational functions for next state logic and output logic. So, step 6 is derive in tabular form. Step 7 is from the tabular form derivations you derive the combinational functions means uh, in logic form you do okay. and last step is realize the FSM. So, by connecting the next state logic output logic next state logic output logic and state register and clock you finally implement the FSM and it will behave as you state it in step 1 in English high level language statements. Okay, these are the 8 steps and with this 8 steps we can design uh, most of the sequential circuits. So, we can say all, but uh, why are saying most means uh, some circuit may be very very difficult to model using FSM for that we will use different approach. Okay, but whenever I say theoretically yes, so for some circuit it may be difficult, but for theoretically we are saying yes. So, let us look at examples, example 1, so on op FSM. So, first is high level statement, step 1, English like statements. So, design a circuit which changes the output every clock cycle. So, design a circuit which changes states every clock cycle. So, make x or output, make x or output change toggle every clock cycle, make output toggle every clock cycle. That means, if it is output is 0, next clock cycle it will be 1. If output is 1, next clock cycle it will be 0. So, make output change or toggle every clock cycle. This is the English like statement, this is this circuit we want and how to design? So, next step is model the problem using FSM. So, clearly, so there are two state in this case. So, one is off state and another is on state. If x is equal to 0, then it is off state. If x is equal to 1, this is on state. And this transition happen in every clock cycle. This transitions happen in every rising edge of the case. From on to up to and on to up and arrow with uh, no starting point, it is initial states. So, clearly in this case, this is uh, op states. In op state, x is equal to output, x is equal to 0. And if it is in op state, it goes to the on state. And in on state, output is equal to 1. And we can see in this case, it is a more FSM. Output depend upon on which state we are. Okay. We are in on state, that is why output is equal to 1. We are in op state, output is equal to 0. And in every clock cycles, this is the clock cycle. If you are in state op, 
you are getting a clock rising age of clock this is rising age of clock and we are changing to on state and if we were in on state that means every rising age we are going to off states and this things repeats this is a if you look at the things this is a we are in off state getting a rising age we are going into on state then off state then on state this things continues this is op on op on this thing continue and if you look at output output it depend upon which state you are so output is 0 1 0 1 so clearly this is a very simplistic example of fsm so english like statement is every clock cycle lets output toggle this is the english like statement this is the fsm this one is the fsm for this and then we can often draw fsm graphically so this one is uh, graphical what i am showing you this is graphical fsm this one is graphical fsm but this is called graphical fsm is called state diagrams okay and can also use table the same graphical things can be stored means uh, shown as table okay so we can also use table that is called state table or any textual language that also fine but in general mostly state diagram and state table are two popular things to represent fsm so both are similar and how can design controller for this on of a state machines so represent the fsm in tabular form so whatever earlier we have represented in tabular form so this is the present state and this is output we want for this output we require next state in the next state we want this okay this is the present state in the present state output is exactly reverse and we want in the present state output it depend upon the present state and what transitions we want so transition means you are in present state one then next state transition is this one and this is the if you are in one then next state transition is zero that this fsm is we are representing tabular form this is the step 3 what is step 4 derived number of flip flop require so how many state in this fsm we have clearly two states off state and on state there are two states and two states one flip flop is more than enough this is the derived number of flip flop require then state encoding this is also trivial because uh, we have only two state state 0 this is off state and state 1 this is for on state so because this is clearly only two state and on off states and 0 1 can be encoded this is trivial after that we somehow we require to generate or do the what will be the next state logic and what will be the output logic this is step 5 is done this is the tabular form of fsm so next step is uh, how we will come up with the what should be the inside of the combinational circuit and clearly in fsm the deep flip flop is by default it is clocked clock is implicit and step 6 is this is step 6 given this table what will be the next state functions derivation of next state from the present state and input and derivation of output from the present state so this is the this table shows the derivation of a present state derivation of next state from the present state and input and derivation of output from the present state and from this table derive the combinational logic functions for next state logic and output logic from this table we derive next state logic is not p if you look at next state logic this is the next one and this is a you will get this is present state and present state is exactly opposite so next state is next state logic is ns is not p and x is not p so if you look at this thing if you look at this thing so these are same these are same so from the state this is the present state you are getting from the storage element this is the next state we are getting and it will be activated in the next cycle not in the present cycle and next state in x it is actually not p so we are this is the combinational circuit for output x and next state 
and this is the how we derive the logic and if you simply connect realize the FSM by realizing FSM means connect the next state next state logic output logic in this example next state logic and output logic are same it may be different then this is the state register and this is the clock in this case we are showing clock is giving input to the combinational circuit it may not require absolutely it not require ok so clock to we give to only flip flop for the showing purpose you are giving for the circuit but uh, we do not require so ultimately this is the relation of this is the relation of on of FSM. Next let us move towards the second example FSM example of D flip flop. So, what is the high level di diagrams? So, so English like statements the next state is depend on value of data input. So, whatever you are giving data input that will be the next state. So, that is the uh, behavior of D flip flop that is behavior of D flip flop we know means in the earlier classes. So, English like statement of D flip flop will be next state is depends on value of data input and we can model using FSM. So, clearly there are two states S is equal to 0 and S is equal to 1 and rising on every clock and arrow with no starting points again it is represent the first state and circuit starts and clearly uh, this is the modeling the problem using FSM. So, D flip flop or this English like statement particularly what I say is the next state is depend on value of D input. This is the English like statement we want to model this statement using FSM and this is the our model of FSM. So, so whenever this is initial state whenever you are state in 0 state in 0 and if you are getting a 1 if you are getting a 1 input is 1 then it is moved to 1 and if you are getting a 1 means always you will move towards state 1 because next state is depend upon data input. If you are getting a 1 means you will move to the state 1. So, even you are in 1 and getting a 1 it will move to 1 that means whether it did we are in state 0 or 1 if you are getting a 1 it will move to state 1 and in this case also if you are getting a input 0 then it will move to state 0. So, whether you are in 1 or 0. So, for both the cases it will move to 0. So, clearly if input is 1 if you look at this is input is 1 it do not depend upon the this one it move to the 1 and if input is 0 then without depending upon the present state it move to 0. This is the graphical diagrams graphical FSM this is representation of same FSM using tabular form this is step 3. Now, in step 4 derive number of flip flop require because these have only 2 states obvious only one flip flop state encoding there are only 2 state S0 and S1. So, simple encoding sequential 0 1 encoding. So, state 0 representing 0 state 1 representing 1. Derivation of next state the same state tables whatever earlier this is the input this is the D input and this is the what is the next state. So, from the this we can derive the next state logic and output logic and in the deep level we know. So, next state logic also N s is equal to D it, do, it depend upon only D. So, value of D decides what will be the next state that is the English like statement also that means here also we are getting same thing. So, next state logic and output logic. So, N s is equal to D and this one also D. So, clearly in D flip flop FSM controller for D flip flop next state is also D output is also D. If you connect this thing it will be D flip flop anyhow we have a D flip flop and we want to design a D flip flop that means we do not require any other circuits. So, realize FSM connect the next state logic output logic state register this is the state register anyhow we have a D flip flop and we want to design a D flip flop using D flip flop that means we do not require any other circuits. So, this is next state logic state forward and this is the state forward that means it depend upon the only D input this is the input D 
the input decides the what will be the next state and the state decides what will be the output x. The state decides what will be the output x. Okay. That means, d decides ultimately value of x for the next time. This is the FSM control of our D flip flop. So, let us look at another example FSM example 3 for T flip flop and what are the English like statements? English like statement is step 1 is 1 that means, next state toggles every rising edge of clock when input T is 1 else stay with the same present state. So, what is the English like statement for descriptions English like description for T flip flop next state toggle every clock when T is equal to 1 else the next state is same as present state that means state do not change this is the English like statement and if you want to model using FSM uh, we can model the model the same thing model the problem using FSM. So, here also there are two states and every rising edge it may change states and here also the same thing. So, model the problem using FSM. So, if you are getting a 1, if you are getting a 1, this is input T is 1, then it is changing state. If you are in 1, then it is changing to 0. If you are in 0, then changing to 1. And if you are getting 0, that means input T is 0, then do not change the states. This is no change the state and this is changing states. This one is 1 means changing states, 0 means do not change states. This is graphically you are showing the FSM step 2 model the problem using FSM represent the FSM using tabular form both are same thing. So, whether you represent using graphically or you represent tabular form both are same thing, but from the tabular form we can derive next state logic very nicely from graphical form we can visualize very nicely both are equally important. So, that is a this FSM design have both the steps steps 2 and steps 3 represent the FSM in tabular form. The same thing we are representing this is the present state if you are getting 0 no change if you are getting a 1 change it if you are in state 1 if you are getting a 0 no change if you are getting a 1 change it to 0. So, this is actually this corresponds 1 correspond this to particularly this is a change of states. And clearly once in step 4 derive number of flip flop require here also we have only 2 states only 1 flip flop require it is obvious and state encoding also this same state 0 encoded 0 state 1 encoded 1. FSM controller of T flip flop so derive the next state. So, derivation of next state this is the same textual or tabular form representations ok what is the present state what is the input and what will be the next state derive the this this is same as actually tabular representation of what you can say FSM ok and from the this uh, next state derive the next state logic and output logic. So, in this case output is equal to Q and next state is so based on this so based on this present state particularly present state input is T and this is the present state is Q present state is Q. So, based on the T and Q what will be the next state. So, based on these things next state will be clearly T x or Q. So, this is clearly T x or Q. So, this will be T x or Q ok this is a something but this two things we need to take and this is exactly opposite. So, Q T bar this is a, this one is a q bar t and this one is uh, q t bar and if we add these two things then we will get this thing and this is uh, q x or t and this is the step 8 step 8 is what once you derive the next state logic and output logic simply connect realize the FSM by connecting next state logic output logic state register and this is the state register this is the next state logic and this is the output logic output logic it depend upon only q. So, this is uh, that is why 
this is output logic is output logic is s0 so x is equal to directly q so whatever the current state and this is the next state logic qt plus 1 next state logic and next state logic is so the same thing so this is only xr circuits t xr q this is t xr q that you are getting this is the implementation of t flip flop so let me show you means it is same as actually uh, fsm controller for t flip flop is actually same as given a d flip flop how to construct a t flip flop this thing earlier we have already studied in the earlier classes so given a t flip flop given a d flip flop construct a t flip flop so what will be the input for d flip flop so you try to derive from the behavior of t flip flop and just uh, convert this input from t flip flop to d flip flop this is the conversions so this is the q this is the we are getting q and this is uh, exactly same thing we are getting t u t q dex plus uh, t dash q so here we are giving this thing this is how fsm controller for t flip flop is same as actually given a d flip flop constructed t flip flop okay so given the things let us uh, implement these things in verilog code so how we can implement fsm in verilog code this is let take first example so this is the d flip flop example i have already shown this thing so we are not uh, taking this thing suppose given a d flip flop so d flip flop verilog code is given so this thing is already given okay so we have a uh, two inputs here reset input clock input d input and q output and this is the for every positive edge of reset if it is one then uh, reset the flip flop q is equal to 0 and for every positive edge of clock so transfer the input d to the q so this is the regular working of any d flip flop so this is the model of uh, d flip flop this is the vhl uh, verilog model and this is the logical diagrams so how we can do implement fsm flip flop fsm of t flip flops so we have already seen this thing so we require a d flip flop for storing states this is the d flip flop instantiations this one is next state logic in next state logic what you are doing this one is t x or s s is the next state and this is actually ns is equal to t xr s this thing we are doing this one is for xr so this is a uh, this symbol is for xr this symbol is for xr and this one is q is equal to s output logic we are doing simply output logic this is a uh, two combinational part we are putting so one is for output logic one is for next state logic this is the instantiation of d flip flop instantiation of d flip flop so whatever we have shown in this thing exactly same thing we are doing nothing else we have a d flip flop we have a next state logic we have output logic so this one so three things and it have clock input so this uh, fsm implementation of d flip flop is so simple uh, and how we can do uh, test bench for this t flip flop so similar to the regular t flip flop test bench it is same so this is instantiations of t flip flop fsm and this is part 1 it says every clock every uh, 10 seconds we are changing the clock okay changing the value of clock that means it will generate a 20 cycle clock period and this one is uh, we are uh, initially at time 0 we are doing the reset reset is equal to 1 means flip flop will be set to 0 and then reset is equal to 0 and then we are changing some value of t and here we are trying to monitor the all changes of variables clock t q all three variables and if you look at the waveforms so clearly whenever one q changes whenever t is equal to 1 you will look at t is equal to 1 at this places t is equal to 1 at t is equal to 1 and rising edge this is the rising edges the q changes from 0 to 1 so if you look at whenever rst is equal to 1 so rst is equal to 1 it make q is equal to 0 and at the next time when t is equal to 1 so in this period 
So here no changes happen, no changes happen. Whenever rising edges happens, here it changes to 1. When t is equal to 1, rising edges and q is equal to 0, it changes to 1. Here also, if you look at this is the rising edge, this is the rising edge and here t is equal to 1. Actually, it's just before that, that is why it is changing from 1 to 0. But in this case, t is equal to 0. So, there is in this case no changes. So, clearly here also it is t is equal to 1. So, in this case t is equal to 1, rising edge changing from 0 to 1. This is 0, 0 to 1 it is changing. So, clearly at uh, it is uh, mimicking the behavior of t flip flop in wave form also. We have implemented using Verilog code, shown the behavior of t flip flops using FSM realizations. Another examples, FSM example of a JK flip flop. So, here English like statement, one output, output reset when k is equal to 1, j is equal to 0, that means k is per reset. Toggle when jk is equal to 1, 1 and set to 1, when j is equal to 1, k is equal to 0 and no change when jk is equal to 0, 0. This is the standard English like behavior of jk flip flop and we want to model this problem. So, model this problem using FSM. So, same two states because it is flip flop, we can model using two flip flop and clearly here you can say you are in state 0 and getting a 0, 0 then jk is equal to 0, no changes happens. Similarly, if you are in state 1 and you are getting a 0, 0, no changes happens. 1, 1 means it toggles. So, 1, 1 means it toggles. If you are in state 1, then toggle to 1. 1, 1, if you are in state 0, then it toggle to 1. Then 0, 1, what is 0, 1? 0, 1 means j is equal to 0, k is equal to 1. That means we are resetting, we are making 0 and this is if you are in 0 also, if you are making 0, 1 then it resets. Similarly, 1, 0, it make it 1, it set the flip flop, set the flip flop. Whether you are in 1 state or 0 states, it do not care, it comes to same. And if you look at uh, FSM of uh, JK flip flop, we have modeled this thing. So, this thing already there, already modeled. FSM of uh, JK flip flop. This is already done. So, and if you look at step 3, 4, 5 are trivial. So, here also because uh, there are two states, only one flip flop did care. There are two states encoding a very fairly simple 0 per state 0, 1 per state 1. This is similar encoding, okay. And table also is similar. So, this uh, next state table. So, we do not require. So, derivation of next states, if you look at what is the current state, these are the current states and what are the input, based on the input, this is the next state. This is the behavior of JK flip flop, we are just deriving the next state, okay. And once you derive the next state in tabular form, so we are representing the FSM in tabular form, nothing else. We are representing this FSM, this FSM in tabular form. So, there is step 6 and in the step 6, so, in the, if you look at the step 6, here inputs state are already encoded, state are already encoded, input are also in binary form and next state, what will be the next state? We need to derive, okay, in this form we require and step 7 is derive the next state logic, output logic from this table, from this table, left side table, we derive the next state logic and output logic for x and for this. And clearly from this, we can directly say for this, this case, this case, this case and this case, we require to give input 1. And for this case, if we solve this for this uh, next state from q, j and k, this next stage is function of uh, q, j, k, then you will get this thing. If you solve using Karnam map, then you will get this thing. And what is the FSM controller? Finally, realize the FSM by connecting next state logic, output logic, state log register and clock. So, this is the state register, this is the what? Next state logic and this is the input, this is the input, this is the next state, okay, this is the next state logic and finally, this is the FSM controller for JK flip-flop. We are implementing JK flip-flop 
using a D flip flop. So by default state register use D flip flop. So it is exactly whatever I told. It is same as given a D flip flop construct a JK flip flop. Exactly same equations. So here the same diagrams. Here it is D flip flop which store the states, and here the JK input. And if you look at this diagrams and this diagram, both are exactly same. Only thing is rearrangement. This is we have done in ad hoc way, but this one we have done through proper procedural step. This FSM controller for JK flip flop we have done with procedural step eight procedure we have followed and come up with this diagram, which is same as the earlier design, but with procedure also it is good. And if you follow standard procedure, it looks very nice, and everyone can understand the things. And Verilog code for JK flip flops. So we are not showing the Verilog code for D flip flop. For if you look at the Verilog code, so this is the D flip flop installation. This is D flip flop installations, and this is the next state logic. If you look at next state logic, is J Q dex plus K dex Q. Nothing else. J Q dex plus Q dex Q. This is next state logic, and this is the output. This is the state output. Q is equal to the state current state. This is the very simplistic uh, Verilog code for JK flip flop FSM of JK flip flop, and this is the driver code or test bench code. This is instantiation of JK flip flop. This is part one. We are changing clock every ten value of clock in every ten seconds, and clock period is twenty second. And this is a dumping variable, and this is we are changing value of J and K. Initially, reset is equal to one means. Initially, we are setting the flip flop is equal to one. Then these are the setup changes, value changes. J is equal to one, K is equal to one, J is equal to zero, K is equal to one. This thing we are changing and we are monitoring here. So this is part one of the code. This is part two of the code. And if you club all the codes, you will get a complete test bench. Okay. So what will be that means? Uh, based on the test bench, we have uh, run the test bench and generated the waveform and used GTK web to show the waveform. And if you look at the things, so Q changes when rising edges. If you look at these are the rising edges, and at different point initially, if you look at this one is J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero. If you look at this one is J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero, and earlier it is zero. Earlier Q is equal to what? Earlier Q is equal to zero. J is equal to zero, K is equal to zero. At this rising edge, it will not change because same state will continue. The same state will continue. But in this state, if you look at J is equal to one. So in this case, if you look at this is uh, J is equal to one. This is zero. One zero. J one K zero. That means it will set. That means this will change. At rising edge, it is changing. That means here also it is at rising edge, it is changing. And what we are doing here, we are doing K is equal to one and J is equal to zero. And this is rising edge. So that means it is resetting to zero. And in this case, both are one. In this case, both are one. And is rising edge. It is flipping the states, double states. So Q changes at rising edges, and it is exactly behaving what we want. Of T flip flop, and we have implemented the T flip flop using FSM implementations way, not the regular way. FSM implementations way. Another example is RS flip flop. So here also same thing. Model the problem using FSM. So this is the FSM for one one case. In RS flip flop, we generally ignore the case. We don't use, and this is the derivation of next states. So step six one derivation of next states. Next state, what will be the next state logic? So next state logic will be R plus Q S bar. R plus Q S bar. So this is the next state logic, and you can realize RS flip flop using like this. So similar procedures. Okay, and let's make very Generic example. I'll always say, I mean, uh, say about only flip flop. Why to only stick to only flip flop? Let's make it uh, more generic. General example. So two bit binary counter. So we want a sequence. So this one is a zero 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 one one zero one one. So this is particularly zero 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 one one zero and one one. This sequence we want. And each value for one clock cycle. This things repeat. English like statement is we want zero zero. Zero one one zero one one to repeat. That means zero one two three repeats. 
every times. That means there are four states A, B, C, D, and it repeats after four clock cycles. Okay, so you can describe the FSM using four states: transition on rising edges. Every rising edges we have transitions A to B, B to C, C to D, and again D to A. That means and clearly here encoding also it is trivial. So two bit straight line encoding, straight linear encoding. So representation of tabular form. This is the present state and this is the next state. If it is 0, 0, then it goes to 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, then from 1, 0, it goes to 1, 1, and if it is in 1, 1, then it goes to 0, 0. So from B, it is moved to A. And derived number of flip flop require because it have four states, clearly obvious there is two flip flop is required. State encoding. So in this case, four states, and let us look at uh, try to use very simplistic encoding, linear encoding state A encode with 0, 0, state B encode with 0, 1 state C encode with 1, 0 and state D encode with 1, 1 and we want to derive this kind of FSM diagram. This have two state register, two output and we want to come up with the combinational circuit. What will be the combinational circuit? Step 6, if you look at this is the next state table, this one is next state table, this is the FSM, same thing. From the next state table, derive the next state table. So, this is the derivation of next state and from the next state table, so we can come up with derive the next state logic and output logic. So, this one is the input and this one is output. From this, we can derive what will be the next state logic, next state logic n1 and n0. Okay. So, once we derive this thing from this, we are, uh, if you look at n0, n0 is this one. Okay. So, this is a n0 as a, this suppose this one is n1 and n0, this is reverse one, n1 and n0 and this is n1 is equal to s1 x or x0 and n0 is equal to if you look at actually depend upon x0 bar, that is s0 bar, clearly s0 bar. So, this is the output uh, logic and, and next state logic we are getting and a step 8 is simply realize the FSM by connecting next state logic, output logic, state register and clock. And this one is what we are doing is uh, connecting the this state output going to these places and getting the this thing and directly this is state same state we are getting here and here next state logic is uh, whatever we say is this uh, S1 X or S0, this is S1 X or X0 and this is uh, S0, S0 bar. So, this is uh, what we get uh, the next state logic and this is the way we can implement the binary counter and very low code for binary counter or the 2 bit counter is we are using two flip flop. This is a uh, NS0 and S1, S1, S0, okay. then this is the next state logic. So, whatever we say is Okay, this is for XR, X1, S1, XR, S0 and this is the S bar and this is the output logic. Output logic same as S0 goes to Q0 and S1 goes to Q1. This is output logic same as directly we are taking from the states. Okay. And this is the test bench, this is the test bench means uh, this is instantiations, this part is uh, clock changing and this part is initially we are resetting the both the flip flops and then up to 125 seconds we are running the code okay, and every 20 cycle we change the clock and we monitor what is the value of uh, Q1, Q0 and clock. And this is a means, uh, waveform diagrams. So, initially this is a 0, initially reset is equal to 1, it make the system 0 and after every clock cycle, every rising edge of clock, this is every rising edge of clock. So, are you able to see every rising of the clock, these things are changing. So, here the value is 0, 1. So, this is 0, 1, this is 1, 0, this is 1, 1. So, this correspond to 0, 1, 2, 3. Again, it repeat 0, 1, 2, 3. But here we put reset signals. So, whenever you put reset signals, it is automatically change to 0, automatically make it 0. Here also it is reset is equal to 1, it make it 0. Then it counted up to this. Again, it goes to it because it repeats its count and at this point we have put reset signals again it goes to 0. 
then the behavior of counter what we want we are getting. We have implemented the counter using FSM implementation procedure, standard FSM implementation procedures. So, 8 steps we are following. So, similarly we can design any uh, means, uh, sequential circuit. So, first step is get the English like statements then model using FSM. Once you model using FSM then most of the work is done. So, let us take another example. So, sequence generator in this example we want this sequence to continue. So, 0, 1, 1, 1 and this things repeats forever. So, each value for one clock cycle and can be described because there are four things we want repeats. So, we require four states step 2 can describe as FSM in 4 state times on initially it is off state and after that 3 clock cycle it stay on then it goes to cop again 3 clock cycle it is on. So, there are clearly 4 states. So, op on 1, on 2 and on 3 and it repeats and clearly we can describe the FSM using 4 states and transition diagram. So, initially it will be off state and every next 3 clock cycle it will be on on 1, on 2 and on 3 and again it come back to op states and this thing repeats. So, this is FSM model of uh, this our step 1 or description problem descriptions. We want a circuit sequential circuit which produce output 0, 1, 1, 1 and repeats every clock cycles this things this sequence repeats this is we want and this is the FSM diagram for this. And if you look at if you design the FSM then most of the work is done, most of the work is done rest of the things are really non trivial we can say it very trivial work because uh, cannot say non trivial it is trivial work. Can we extend this earlier example to 3 cycle high laser timers. So, what we want? So, we want specify the problem English like statements 4 state in this case also. So, op state and 1 b is equal to 1 transit from op state to 1 otherwise do not transit ok. And next 2 clock cycle transition on to on 2 then on 3 and which also set x is equal to 1 that means for 3 cycle it will be on if b is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1 for 3 cycle after the button is pressed. So, in this case what we are saying is if button is pressed, if button is pressed b is equal to 1 then for 3 cycle it will be on. So, earlier it is button is not pressed means it is off. Once you press the button it will keep the circuit on per 3 cycle output on per 3 cycle that we want. This is the button pressed and this is cycle and for this 3 cycles it will be on this we want and so specify FSM of 3 cycle ledgers. So, model this problem can model the problem using initially it is off states x is equal to 0 and whenever b is equal to 1 if b is equal to 0 if b is equal to 0 and rising edge of clock it will stay in off states it will stay in off state this is b is equal to 0. Once b is equal to 1 then it will move towards on one state and without depending on b it is move towards on 2 and on 3 states for next 2 clock cycle and after that it is come back to this side. This is our problem statement we model using FSM. Once we model the things using FSM the things are much easier. So, if you look at in this diagrams we are showing the rising edge of clock in earlier cases we have not shown rising edge of clauses. If you show the rising edge of clock then it looks clutter. So, anyhow all storage elements get activated or all deep flip flop get activated in the rising edge it is really unnecessary to keep the rising edge in the FSM diagrams. So, showing rising edge on every time is cluttered because it is implicit assume every edge has rising edge. So, why to keep it this rising edge and we consider all synchronous FSM. So, all transitions on rising edge. So, no need to put the clock. So, directly you can remove all the clocks. So, all clocks if you remove the thing then things will be much simpler earlier also have shown this thing. So, this looks very simplistic and very nice diagrams ok and once we come up with diagram then actually it is very easy to implement and FSM implements on same things. So, how many 4 
states. So, you require two flip flops, this is state encoding. So, op 0 0, on 1 0 1, on 2 on 0 and on 3 is 1 1. The same thing and this is x, this is output, this one is output, this one is output. Output stay 1 for this green state, if it is red state then output goes to 0 and if you look at, so this one is uh, output x and output x, if you look at output x, for 0 states output is equal to 0 okay. and for other states output is equal to 1. So, this is the behavior of output and this is the next state. If b is equal to 0, current state is equal to 0 0 and you are at uh, b is equal to 0 then next state is 0, Th this things it is coming and we are representing the same thing using table. So, this is a uh, step 6 and it have actually encoding also we can derive uh, the next state in a tabular form, FSM in tabular form and once you have the encoded FSM in tabular form, so this is actually next state this x we can derive the next state logic in step 7. So, from this uh, next state n 1 and n 0, so we can derive and which is x 0 also we can derive. Okay. So, this is uh, for x 0 if you look at, so this if this is uh, p 1 and p 0, if anything is uh, p 0 and p 1, this state any one of the one is actually that means uh, x is equal to 1. This is next state logic and output logic and last step is realize FSM by connecting next state logic, output logic, state register and clock and this is the next state logic, this is the state register, this is the input, this is clock. So, connect all the things, you will realize the FSM. So, we have designed our sequential circuits and that makes the things much clearer. Given an English like statement, we can design almost any kind of circuit using this method almost all circuits were saying and the most important statement I am saying is once we specify FSM for a problem English like statement or a, for a system implementation is not difficult. So, once we specify FSM for a problem or a system given the English like statements most of the work is done. This is the most crucial part of any sequential designing system, designing part. Once you design the FSM, implementation is not difficult. So, we should focus more how to design a good FSM. So, from the English like statement, once you model into FSM, then things are done. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.